This pandemic has absolutely taken a toll on all of our physical and mental well beings. You know, whether you're a nurse, a contractor, a doctor, or regretfully unemployed, it's been a tough year. Uh, we're socially isolated. Um, it's politically charged, divisive time. It's tough, and I think it's okay to say that, that we're all struggling a bit. I spent this pandemic in New York, um, but a few weeks ago, I went down to Miami to my father's apartment. And I wanna talk to you about that trip because I learned a very important lesson that I wanna discuss with you. When I went down to Miami, my friends surprised me with a private boat um, as a belated birthday present. And I was very grateful, I was excited. At the same time, I was a little cautious and nervous because we're in the midst of a pandemic. So I went on the CDC website and checked the guidance for wearing masks during water activities. I checked the local boat capacity guidelines, saw we were well below that. And then I started thinking about individual risk. And that's something I talk to you guys quite frequently about. I get questions like, is it safe to go on a boat? Is it safe to fly? Is it safe to see my relatives? And there's rarely a one size fits all answer because risk is a spectrum. So I looked at my own personal risk level. Um, I'm young, I don't have health problems, I live alone so I don't put anyone else at risk. I'm gonna be following the proper quarantine and testing protocols, returning back to New York. Um, we're following all the testing, um, boat capacity and travel guidelines. So I thought for me, this risk level was okay. But even considering all that, even considering following the rules as the guidelines that are set forth, it doesn't matter. I messed up. I really did. And I need to do better. The reason I'm saying this is because of the impact of my trip. The impact can harm the medical message that I've been delivering from the beginning of this pandemic, that COVID-19 is serious, that masks are a benign yet important measure to reduce the spread of COVID-19, and that I take it very, very seriously. When I go to work, I wear a mask. When I walk bare, I wear a mask. When I exercise in the gym, I wear a mask because it's truly, truly important. What's killing me most right now is, like people leave negative comments and I, I, I deserve that. I'm accepting of that. I messed up here, it's true. But when I see bad actors, and conspiracy theorists try and use my situation to attack the legitimacy of COVID-19, to downplay its risks, to say masks don't work, that kills me. Because it feels like I'm being used for nefarious purposes. It's not true. Attack me, don't attack the science. Don't attack the hardworking women and men of the CDC and the WHO. They're doing research in order to keep you safe at home. So. This situation taught me a lot about impact, what I need to do better, how I under, need to understand that my actions carry real consequences. And while I may be following rules and guidelines, it's not enough to just think about that. I have to think about the impact. And the people that I'm saying sorry to right now are very specific people. It's you who have supported me on this channel and been loyal viewers. It's those healthcare providers on the front line who are caring for patients sick with COVID-19. It's those people at home, it's you at home who's done the right thing this entire time and sees me doing this. I'm sorry, I let you down. What I can say is that I'm gonna strive to do better. I'm a human, I messed up here, it's true. I really did. This has been a mistake that I'm learning from, I'm working through, I've taken the time for self-reflection, I'm gonna continue to do so. I can't promise that I won't make another mistake again. But what I can promise is that I'm gonna to continue to learn from my mistakes. I will continue to be transparent and honest so that I can be a better doctor for my patients and to be a better human for my friends, family, and for you. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay happy and healthy.